Do, 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 do. It's just another day. I know. <clears throat> Keep your Instacart job, girly. Your voice is pretty sucky for a Beatles song. But sometimes it does feel like just another day. And you know what? If I'm if I'm feeling grateful, just another day is all I'm looking for. I'm in a much, much better space than I was a couple of days ago. I'll tell you that much. So it continues, and one of my fours fell off, so that's good. So who knows where I'm at, but my rating, I think, is almost four point. It's 4.88, I think, today. So I'm grateful for that, whatever. It doesn't seem to make a difference with my batches. It just really pounds my um, esteem when you see something like that. And you just, you know, I hope you're not like me and spend way too much time, time trying to figure out who the culprit was. I was commenting to somebody who was commenting to me. And... um. I said, you know, if you can't give a five with a nice little couple of words about how you feel about my service, just keep it to yourself. If they had any idea what a four star, three star, two star, one star would give to us, and and what what makes you go from a five to a four? What didn't you do right? You know, did you you know look at their ring bell camera wrong or something? <laughs> Who knows? But. I still love my Instacart, and I still love doing it, and I'm doing point pickup, too. So I hit my quota yesterday, and I'm getting ready to go out now, today. What is it? Oh, it's almost 5 o'clock, so that's when I start to get ready, but um, I am in a much better space. Boy, I, you know, sometimes I think because I'm an old lady, I have surges of hormones that will never be seen again in my body, because as we get older, you know, we just kind of dry up and flake out. Who knows? <laughs> And sometimes I feel it, it, it reminds me of PMSing when there was just no, no control over like that cloud and it was nobody's fault. It wasn't like I had a target for anything. It's just this low part. Maybe it was like, you know, a mini day of depression. I don't know, but I'm certainly back to being, you know, Sarah shopper and enjoying it and, um, seeing the people along the way. And, you know, I try to learn like a new name of one of the butchers or a new name of one of the assistant managers and, and like to pass along, you know, nice compliments about the people that helped me during my shop to the manager that's walking around. It just, you know, just, it just makes me feel good to just pass along happy words about somebody because a lot of people go the distance in their job, just like, you know, we as Instacart shoppers do. A lot of those people with the W-2 working in these grocery stores work really hard to make it easy and nice for us too. So yeah, I like to pass it along and have a little joke or a little commiserating about the heat or the tourists or, you know, one manager now as we walk by, he goes, it's almost over because of Labor Day coming up, and it, it changes. It still stays busy. It's just, you know, I already feel it anyway. There's a whole lot of less traffic right now, um, late August, because kids are back in school so early, not for us here on the Cape, but still after Labor Day, a very traditional thing, I guess. But I'm doing well with the Instacart, and um, it seems to all go well. And, you know, usually in the morning, there's like a double or a triple I check out the mileage and the tip and then take it. I like to be busy. I'm ready to go at 10 of 6, so why not? That's how I, I figure it. And I'll kill them with charm and nice texts, and maybe that the snarky non-tipper will, like, come around. Who knows? But, you know, I like to be busy, and um, and that suits me. And low ratings, today I could care. You know, <laughs> it's funny how wasn't that way a few days ago, but, you know, I could care. I mean, as long as I'm getting batches and staying busy and making, you know, just my silly little goal that I put on myself um, every day, but it's, it's being busy that matters to me. It's like having a next. I always like a next, and Point Pickup calls me now. They call me if there's something that I could do and deliver, and, you know, there's two towns that I will do it with, um, 
It has to be a Shaw. Stop and Shop doesn't do it in this area, nor does Roach Brothers, which is like a private um, New England grocery store that I like to shop at, too. Usually the people near Roach Brothers are a little more well-heeled. It's kind of a very pricey area to live in, very second or third home for a lot of these people. So they tend to know and appreciate and you know, when I when I do my service to somebody, if it's an older woman that I'm greeting, um, you know, I think that they they like that an older woman kind of understands. I do understand because I shop for me. A couple of days ago, I had this order and it was out to this like private little like jetty. And it was like it was so breathtaking, beautiful. First of all, it was postcard worthy. And there were like these 10 houses, nothing but beach grass, which might look like weeds to somebody that's not used to beach grass. And yes, there was a gatekeeper. And so, we, had, you know, the usual, I, I work for Instacart, I've got groceries for, and I gave him the address and he said, oh yeah, and he said her name. I get to the house, I mean, the, um, it's just breathtaking. And these are, they're all built to look like old Cape Cod homes that have weathered, um, they've weathered shingles. I don't know if you're used to seeing that, but um, it's really very capish with the white trim and the just panoramic windows. They must have window cleaners come there to get the salt film off the outside of the windows. Anyway, it's just a lovely, lovely home. And they're very non-ostentatious, but you know that they're going for three, four, five million, but they keep it as natural looking and appearing as possible. Like you don't see, you might see a pot of flowers. In fact, there was a beautiful white pot, like a ceramic pot, like this big with just pretty little flowers in the entryway um, by the side door. But I asked the man, I said, are these just second and third homes? And he goes, yeah, they pretty much close up here for the winter. And it's like, wow. Wow, the views, the day, it was nice. So when I have those sort of things, but <clears throat> on the flip side, I had this Instacart for this lovely lady. She only had one leg. She was in a wheelchair. She had those little English bulldogs. I think <clears throat> I think that's the right name. Um, like the ones Lady Gaga had, and they were stolen from the dog walker that day. So this lady, <laughs> This lady had such a great attitude. I mean, it brings me to tears because this is why I shop. I mean, the views are nice, but people like this that so appreciate it. There was a tip already in the shop, and then she gave me a cash tip. So she had these four little bulldogs, and each one was the size of, like, <laughs> Mama Mia Meatball. And they just, they were just, like, all over each other, just these playful little, little doggies. And the property was so basic, but you could tell that she spends all her money on nice pens and gates and, and everything else. And then there were two dogs in the inside that were like protecting the house. And then there were cats outside wandering around. She said, this is Club Med for the rescues. <laughs> she said, I, I couldn't do it without my little fur balls. And it was like so sweet, loved it. So when I see stuff like that, that I would never see if I wasn't doing it for Instacart, it brings it all back to like what the point is. It's just nice to shop for other people. <clears throat> nice to get out there and do it. I like it when I feel like Patty positive as, as opposed to negative Nancy. And Finstacart would just get their head out of their butts. You know, can you hear the pop from all those people sitting around at the board boardroom table? Yeah. And just realize that like, Get away from your metrics and making your millions and screwing the shoppers and just really get it to where it's supposed to be. Making these people happy and making the shoppers happy that shop for these people because it all pays off in the end for your stupid bottom lines and your private jets out to Nantucket to these houses. <laughs> anyway, loving my job today. I hope you do too. Have a great Monday, shoppers. This has been Sarah with Gig Life, Pearls of Wisdom, and Tales of Instacart. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye for now.